<clears throat> All right, hello everyone. This is Crota coming at you, doing a little bit of the arena in Hex Shards of Faith. It just came out today, and I'm going to be running um, a Charge Mancubus deck just because I have a lot of Lightning Elementals, and I really like how this particular deck works. Uh, for arena it gives you a lot of ways to try and and try and win the game through non-standard um well non-standard methods so i'm gonna go ahead and keep this hand it's a it's a decent enough hand and the real premise behind the deck is using lightning elementals and just having a lot of charge the more charge powers you have the more um, the more you're able to just really build up a big guy on your turn and then try and overwhelm your opponent in just one fell swoop. That's the general premise. Now, what is this? Um, how is this deck working? Well, uh, well let's take a look. There's a, That becomes quick. When a tr All right. When a champion draws a troop, there's a 25% chance that that champion becomes quick. Wow. All right. So that means that all of a sudden, if I top deck a champion, it, it could end up becoming a quick champion. That... That would be quite nice, is it? Oh, this is now a quick troop. Wow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a Ruby Shard, play a Ruby Pyromancer, and wow, the the, the servers are now really, really fast. I'm impressed with, with what they've done here. Now, this Gore Master is going to be a quick troop, which should help me out if I can actually draw um, something of use right here, right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at how things are going to be working. Um, the basic premise... Uh, let's go ahead and uh, play that. Uh, drop a, a Gore Master, who is now going to be a 2-3. Proceed to the attack phase. The Gore Master... Wait. Oh, wait. No. Oh, quick. Ah, as in it can be played from my hand quickly. All right. Messed that up there. Should have blocked that Stargazer. Um, oh, oh, well. No big, no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and play that out. Uh, what is that? What is his charge power? Oh, uh, Kyle does in your deck at plus one, plus one, and cost minus one. All right, so I'm gonna need to start to do some serious, serious damage here. All right, so let's go ahead um, play a play a Ruby Shard. All right, play a Charge Hulk. All right, and um, well, might as well give him plus three. All right. <laughs> So I now have a 19-3 uh, guy on the board. I, I think you can see just how strong this deck um, really is. Uh, Resolve Stargazer, he tra draws a card, discards a card. He's going to end up taking 19 damage in one turn. And, well, it looks like I'm just going to be able to win with a burn on the next turn. So um, this is just how fast and how efficient this deck is, even though I didn't get any of any of the serious cards I need for this deck to, um, to get going. So, um, yeah, he's he's not going to be able to do anything. I'm just going to burn him on the following turn. Uh, I can even make him even larger if I wanted to, but let's just burn him to get this game ongoing and be done. All right, so there it goes. Victory already. Um, a very, very fast game one. Didn't even get to showcase the deck. And I get a gold pouch. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on our merry way. I'm going to try and, and play this through for 30 minutes, uh, maybe 45, highlighting the cards, highlighting the strategy, highlighting the deck, and how this works. Now, if you guys are new to the arena, um, there's so much to read up on that I can't possibly explain everything that's out there for you. Let me, champions can't gain health. Deal one damage to each champion. All right. So let's let's see how this how this goes. Uh, pass priority. I'm gonna go ahead, drop a ruby shard, and now be done. Now, the this deck works in in two ways. Um, with either the gore, uh, the gore guy, which you saw every time you gain a charge, you double his attack, and with inspire, so that all of a sudden becomes really large. Or it can work with mancubus. Mancubus um, allows you to take control of target character with strength less than mancubus well with how many charge powers i have with charge hulk and lightning elementals i tend to have a very very large amount of things i can do here so that's that's the reason behind that there's the mancubus gonna go ahead and play down another shard there and be done um yeah let's just keep on going along our merry way uh drop down uh, uh let's see 
Uh, okay. Oh, what is this? Uh, when, when an action or constant you control deals damage to an opposing champion, gain one. All right. So he's going to be able to start burning me extremely quickly. Um, he can probably take me out in one turn very, very fast without um, even trying. All right. So let's go ahead and go for a charge, Hulk. Um, gain an additional two charges. I'm already up to six charges. And uh, there's a pretty nasty guy on the field. So um, he he's a threat. He's a th threat. And he uses a crackling bolt on him. Um, he hasn't started to use his charge power yet. So that is a surprise because the charge power would actually trigger him to get her to get more mana. Um, let's go ahead and go. Um, let's go with the gore master. All right. And then I'm going to give him plus uh, plus three attack. So that's already um, a very, very threatening guy. And then on the following turn, I can I can do some serious, serious damage unless he removes him again. Uh, no, he doesn't have any he doesn't have any removal. All right. So lucky me. Let's see how this goes. All right. So uh, Ruby Shard. Um, proceed to the attack phase. Attack. Deal eight damage. Deal combat damage. Now, if I had one more mana, I, I could win. So target a troop I control, and then he's going to boulder toss for another eight damage. And my opponent's already at four. So very, very strong deck here. Uh, I think being able to win by turn six consistently um, is very helpful. Sockable. Um, wow, his... Uh, is it, what is he going to do? All right, zoom out. All right. Oh, what is that? Um, your hero, when you have your hero, when your health becomes five or less, if this is one of the top five cards, you're going to put it into your, um, put it into your hand. All right. So he already has that there. It has speed, uh, most likely going to attack me. Oh, it's not going to attack. Um, but it's not going to matter because I'm just going to gain that and then boulder toss for another eight damage and boom, automatic win. All right, so two victories out of the way very, very fast. And I like the, the way that this deck works just because it escalates, like the power curve on this deck is so, so fast. Being able to deal, yeah, you saw that 24 damage in one turn or in over two turns. And, and two of them were just spells to the face. So I could have possibly won in a single turn here. All right, so I have a Gore Master. Uh, I'm going to keep that hand. I have a Crackling Bolt, which is um, very, very helpful as well. And this is all going to try to work out to give that Gore Master uh, a, a very, very big turn all of a sudden. If I can grab a Ruby Pyromancer right now, that would be great. Or an Elite Pyromancer, that would be good as well. Anything to base up the Gore Master's um, inherent weakness of a starting one. Um, a starting one What's it called? A starting one attack. Okay, dear me, I like how it's not one. Uh, I've decided to give your opponent an extra turn. Okay, so my opponent has an extra turn now. I still have to win the game. All right, so oh, there's my gore master. There's the end of my turn. All right, all right. Is he going to get an extra turn now? Yep, here's his extra turn. All right. He gets a wild or a ruby shard now, a stink troll. All right. All right. So I'm going to go for a Mancubus. Pass that turn. I'm not going to attack. Skip. Target troop you get to control gets plus two, plus two this turn. All right. All right. Soxable Minor, plus one, plus one. Wow, what is this? When this dies, it deals four damage to each opposing champion who controls no troops and it battles target troop. 
Oh goodness, this is, this is just um, oh this is painful. Wow. All right, so all of a sudden it did a whole bunch of damage to me. That that extra turn really really put me back. Okay, but it did not attack with that guy. That's good there. All right, so let me do this. Okay, let me do that. Okay, let me do that. Okay. Oh, okay, so I took more damage. All right, this this is scary now. I don't know if I'll be able to to handle this. When you have no cards in hand, it becomes plus one, plus one. Uh, too many shards. I think I just drew way too many shards this game. Yeah. No real way to combat that. Oh, uh, and a 2-1 crush. He He's just gaining a whole bunch of momentum. And that hero power is really good. Okay, not happening. I think he's just going to use his hero power again and win this game. So my first loss, uh, the arena is extremely challenging. So there you go. And I'm going to lose this game, so I'm going to just concede. And there you go. So I ended up losing that match. Not enough removal, even though I do have burns and crackling bolts in the deck. Was not expecting that Minotaur. That Minotaur really caught me off guard. Because it came into play, automatically attacked me. Oh, there's the lightning elementals. So now you actually finally get to see how this deck is really, really supposed to work. All right. Uh, draw five cards. When a champion gains a charge, gain an additional charge. Oh, that's going to help me out a lot. All right, so I already have two charges. Yeah, um, his charge power is very, very good for me. Okay, let's see what else he has. Okay, come on, come on, give me a, give me a, a shard. I need a shard. Uh, nope, another lightning elemental. Okay, it deals damage. Uh, lightning Elementals, when this deals combat damage to an opposing champion, gain a charge. I've gained two charges off of that. Uh, very interesting. All right, Crackling Vortex. Oh, gain four. Oh, all right, he has a bot. That's not going to stay around very long. All right, so let me do this. So I'm going to... Um, how do I want to do this? I want to proceed to the attack phase. Swing for seven. Pass priority. It's not going to deal combat damage. Okay. It's three. I'm going to burn him. So I, I pretty much have a... I think I have a 20, no, not a 25% chance. Uh, well, yeah, a 25% chance of, oh, wow, he's going to draw 10 cards. He's going to draw five cards. Oh, storm clouds. All right. All right, two storm clouds. He just now got those storm clouds. Wow, that deck is, why did he sacrifice? Oops, not really much he can do there. All right, AI glitch. Not realizing that that is not in his favor to do exactly what he did there. Uh, let me see. I'm going to crackling bolt him. If I can get two charge powers off of this, I win. Nope. Just one. Oh, I could have just used two crushing blows. Oh, mistake on my part. Now I'm up to six charge power. 
Well, if I lose the game, it's a play mistake. And you gain a charge. Yeah, not going to happen. And with only two mana... Well, I could have just used the Crackling Bolt, couldn't I? Bam. And there's another win. All right, so, so far, so good. I'm 3-1 and one in the arena. Um, another gold pouch. Let's battle the champion. The Grand Concubunny is the first boss that I will be taking on. And and what's interesting about this is that I have no equipment in this deck. If you if you did not notice, I have no equipment on my character. So the deck can only get better the more arenas I run. Uh, I'll keep this hand. This this is still the orc gladiator it can be very good. Oh, what is this? Let's start and choose one at random. Add a fertility counter to this, or add two fertility counters to this. Sacrifice it. Create a battle hopper for each fertility counter and put them into play. All right. So he, she, and she also has a lot more hit points. All right. This could, this could have gone better. As long as I keep on drawing good cards now, as opposed to mana, I should be in an okay spot. All right. And what's sacrifice? Create a random. A random non-unique Shin Harem troop and put into play. Oh, so while you control five or more troops, you control. Wow. Okay. Oh yes, Ruby Pyromancer. This is the beginning of my, of my. Well, the start. It will definitely help me. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Already? Oh. That can hurt. Oh, is this? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is going to be scary. This deck is very scary. Wow. This deck is extremely scary. What's going on here? I might have to block this straight up. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Wow, so I'm going to take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. No, I need to block that as well. Ah, oh, but then that's that's going to just get stronger. How am I going to stop that? Come on, boulder toss. Nope. Okay, I need to block that. I need to block. Oh, I sh why didn't... Oh, I couldn't have blocked... The commander. Okay, so this needs to go there. This needs to go there. And I'm still dead. Wow, that was incredibly fast. All right, so did not beat the boss, and I am gone. Oh. That was a tough fight. Very, very fast turns. Very difficult. Um, oh, I, I get to battle again. Oh, for all the marbles. Otherwise, I just get gold. Is that it now? I will play first. Okay. Uh, at least I have a crackling bolt to try and help me out here. Get rid of those early things. Yeah, you really need to get rid of those 03, 03 um, counters early on. Okay, good. So it's not going to be able to play anything turn one. That gives me a time to get my Ruby Pyromancer out. 
Okay. Okay, all of a sudden, like the last turn was um, absolute god hand. This turn, it's not. I'll, I'll take that. Come on, let me play that. All right. All right, last game it it, it just it had a, the craziest engine I've ever seen. This game is complete one eighty. Okay, I'm gonna drop a three three. Gain another charge, deal two damage. Okay, it's at eighteen. Is it not? Oh, it doesn't have a wild shard. Oh, so it's discarding cards like, like, v very, very much. All right, so uh, I'll grab that. Uh, all right. All right, it looks like I'll be able to win this next turn. Yep, it. I got lucky. I I've seen what this deck can do. I got extremely lucky. Thirteen damage for the victory. There you go. All right, so really easy there. So I, I, you know, random number generator, not uh, being able to survive that was was a big deal. All right, let's see if I can continue and and make my way. Maybe I'll even get to the next boss. I have fifteen minutes, and I like the pacing of the game. Like this is probably much more entertaining than me playing against someone else because the the AI. Is is thinking and pretty much knows what to do when when the time comes. So that that's a pretty big deal. All right, uh, target troop. When this deals damage to opposing troop, draw a card. Troops without flight have minus one. Oh, oh, that is that is painful. That is very very painful. All right, if it drops something here, is it of good enough value to really do anything? Oh yeah, I'm getting rid of that. R R Rage one, flight, when this card enters, gain a charge. When this deals damage to an opposing champion, draw a card. So, okay, so it gained, okay. All right, yeah, definitely, definitely gonna take that out. When this enters plays, add a warp counter to this. At the start of your turn, choose one at random. Add a warp counter. Add two warp counters or sacrifices and create a random troop with cost equal to or number than the Okay. Alright, I can I can deal with that. I'll have to deal with it. It's not like I have a choice. It's gonna be a one three because of the troops without flight. Oh, he's gonna buck near me. Oh, I should have just played the Charge Hulk. That would have been a much, much, much better um, option here. 
you know what? Charge Hulk. You're gonna bucket near again? Oh well, I guess I and now I have I can get even more. Alright, so he's bouncing everything back to my hand. Not very nice of him, but then again, whatever. Alright. Um You know what? I'll go I'll go with that. If I can get another mana this this turn, that would be good. Ah, oh, whoa! So much control! Oh my goodness! And an oracle song to draw more cards. This, just in case he uses this power, I can still burn something. Well, I could have... Well, I could have Mancubus, that too. Alright. Uh, oh, he doesn't do anything. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's see. I am going to... Uh, I'll, I'll Mancubus. Hmm. I will not. Okay. I'll see what he does here. He can't have any more control. Oh, Storm Colossus, Flight, Spell Shield. At the start of the game, you may target this in your hand, reveal it, put it into your deck, then create a Sapphire Shard and put it into your hand. Okay, wow. Okay, that is, that is going to be problematic. It has the whenever it whenever it deals damage, draw a card. All right. All right. So I'm gonna. Okay. Um. Gain that. Do that. Proceed to the attack phase. Attack with him. I have a crushing blow. Which still gives lets me come out ahead. And then I needed to get rid of that guy. Oh my goodness, he still has 10 counters on that thing. My goodness, how am I going to handle this? Oh, unblockable. Put two other cards. Oh. What is this? Uh, interrupt target card. It, this cost gets card minus four. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, pass priority. I'll block it with the Buccaneer. Oh, it's unblockable. That's right. Take six. Ah, uh, take six damage. He's gonna draw a card. Oh. All right. All right. So. Okay, hold on. Uh. Let me you know, battle him. All right, it transforms. Your cards in effect deal double damage. Wait, hold on. So if I do that, it's going to be all right. Proceed to the attack phase. 
pass priority. Deal combat damage. Bam. And boulder toss for 18. Oh, what is this? Interrupt target. That interrupted card transformed into random. What? No. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Ah. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Burn. Burn that. Okay. Res I'm gonna charge Hulk. Why can't I target this guy? Why couldn't I target the dreamer? I don't know. I hope it doesn't cost me the game. Is he gonna mill me? He should mill me. Okay, he didn't mill me. Deal a tremendous amount of damage. Boom, minus 20. All right, I should have had that game a turn earlier, but still doing, still doing all right. Okay, some more gold. I want some more treasure for my actual cards and my actual deck. That was a that was a strange game. And I'm not getting as many lightning elementals as I think I should, which is rather strange. Maybe I need a shuffle. Oh, there's the lightning elemental. Come on, more. Yes. All right. That that's a decent hand. Uh at the start of the game, each champion chooses a target troop in their deck and creates four cards with the card's name. Troop in their Okay. To start the game, each champion chooses a target troop in their deck and creates four cards. Let's go Lightning Elemental. The reason why I wanted Lightning Elemental is... Having more lightning elementals with only two ruby shards is is always a good thing. I already have a gore master. Oh, he has briar patch. Okay. Ooh, I know what he put in the, his deck. All right, that's gonna be scary. All right. If I can get an elite pyromancer out onto the field and then get a gore master to follow. Ooh, rose lion as well. Okay. That rose line can grow rather quickly. Okay, there's another lightning elemental. Let's go ahead and drop an elite pyromancer. Attack with the lightning elemental. Look. Put revealed plants into your hand. Okay. So he's he's just a pure plant deck. All right. Up shard okay what's also nice about the lightning elemental is because it has swift strike it deals damage before the gore master meaning the the gore master 
on the same turn, the Lightning Elemental does damage, d deals bonus damage as well. So that's that's one of those things that you don't necessarily see right off the bat, but it, it definitely is there. So let's go ahead there. Okay. If I get a shard next turn, I think I win. If I get a shard next turn, I win. Unless he, well, he could drop an additional blocker. Okay, yeah, he has an additional blocker. Okay. Ah! All right, how do I want to do this? Um, hmm. All right, I'll have to give the plus five there. And then drop, uh, well, no, hold on. I'll proceed to the attack phase. I'll attack with the lightning elemental. He could decide to block with two things. And deal a combat damage. Okay, that's fine. And that goes up to a three, a six temporarily. I'll drop another lightning elemental. Come on, give me, give me something I can use. He's gonna, he's gonna, oh, wow. All right. Oh, well, he didn't, didn't attack there. Okay. So he's got a lot more stuff on the field. All right. Um, get rid of that guy while I can. Am I going to be able to do enough damage? Come on, just give me a... Give me a shard. Come on, I just need a shard. I should have more than four shards by now. Oh, all right. That will do. Okay, so... Um, how am I going to do this? Okay, there's that. There's. And, okay, hold on, let's see. Uh, I can do that. And, wait, hold on, so if I do, no. Uh, see, I, I don't know why it's not letting me target, like, so. Okay, that will, okay, well, I'll just let that, well, oh! Why does this have minus one? When, oh, okay. Okay. There's that. Press priority, and I because I dealt. Whenever it deals combat damage, it, it doubled it doubled the attack. So that's how I was able to do that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Next one, moving right along. Who your opponent chooses to play. I can't wait for this deck to actually have equipment. Come on. Oh, I got to draw again. I should get two shards. Come on. Another shard. There you go. Okay. That, that is actually a surprisingly okay hand if I can get... What is his power? Target, target, troops you control that enter play this turn, get plus one, plus one, and speed. All right. Shield trainer. All right, let's see if I can do this right. He's going to hit me for one. 
sacrifice this target troop you control gets spell shield this turn. Wow, very nice. Oh, very nice. Lightning elemental. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, now if we can get a shard next turn, that would be perfect. Come on. Oh, the bear. Oh, that bear. That bear is going to be a problem. I don't know why it would do that. Drop another lightning elemental so I can double block. To an opposing champion. Yeah, I thought it had to be an opposing champion. Not sure why it... Are you going to attack? Oh! Do you have something? Am I going to make a critical mistake? Nope, I did not. All right, sweet. It looks like I might be able to win the game just with lightning elementals. I take one, sure. I'll take one. Still nothing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it doesn't have any rubies. That's why it's hurting. I'm just like, what? what is going on here? It should not be hurting this bad. All right, so uh, I will bolt it there. Give plus there if I crackling bolted last turn I would have won or if I even gave the plus three last turn I would have won And this is where it loses. Oh, uh, now I get the shard. All right. So. What am I doing? All right. So winning my games so far. Let's see. If I can get two boss, two boss wins, that, that would be my goal. Because then I actually have a shot at equipment. Otherwise, I don't get any equipment. Oh, <sighs> the ballistics expert. I got 10 minutes, maybe 15 to try and finish two more games. Okay, that's a good hand already. All right. Oh, oh perfect hand. Good curve. And the fact that I go first. Wait. All right. Target troop gets ah uh, deal ah uh, ah uh, wow that that is that is gonna kill my lightning elementals really quickly. And my elite pyromancers. Oh, okay. I cannot. As soon as it gets, well, turn four is gonna be bad. He's gonna start picking off stuff, but then I can mancubus and perhaps take it. And then I'll be able to shoot things back. All right, come on. Come on, Mancubus. Go do your thing. Yes.
Don't drop a don't drop a sap. Oh, it's gonna get a sapphire. There it is. And a gear smith. And a charge bot. Oh. I'll take that. And ah. Oh. Wow. It has so much stuff on the board all of a sudden. Now this is going to be key. Okay. Oh, recovery specialist. It doesn't have anything to grab. All right. It's going to give it to that guy. Okay. All right. And he makes a terrible mistake because I'm going to grab it. Okay, I should have the victory now since I stole the guy that had his charge power. Oh. Not much has changed. Oh, wow. Okay, so there, 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 there. Um, And then drop drop this Talteca. Gonna be able to clean up that in a little bit. Okay. Sure, grab it of that. Have at it. Resolve it. Kill, deal two points of damage. Wait. Your cards and effects deal double damage. Deal. Oh, oh, I found a bug. I found a bug. That is not. It didn't work there. Ah. Uh, all right. Well. Even though. Well, or did I not let it resolve first? No, I let it resolve. I, that was, I saw that as a 7-3. Well, I'll have to double check the video. Sapper's charge. Sacrifice it to take out... Oh, the Pyromancer, really? All right. Oh, Sapper's charge. All right, let's just... <clears throat> attack the face. All right. Boom. How much damage is that? Win. All right. So I got, I got nine more minutes. This will be my last game. Zoltog. 
Ooh. They, they my opponent has three pieces of equipment and I have zero because I don't have any equipment on my stuff yet. Oh. At least I'm earning gold. Maybe I can buy something. Okay. That that can still be a this can still be useful. Oh. Come on. Oh. Did it bug out? Oh. Might have to reconnect. Hopefully I can reconnect to that game. Two, two, two bosses, beat two bosses in my first try without any equipment. One of those games, the, the computer just, yeah, the Shin Hair game was just an absolute thwomping. Like if, if they have the right cards, there's just no stopping them. Those decks are so streamlined. We'll see. We'll see if it counts as a forfeit. Otherwise, and then I can just get to see equipment. Confirm. Reconnect. Oh, what? A primal of prosperity? You're kidding me, right? It, it's going to start off with prosperity? Okay. So every time it, it's going to draw a card. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna really need, really need something. I need another shard. Perfect. It's getting cost. Oh, it's getting plus one, plus one. Ah, oh, let's try to turn. No, no, no. No more stuff. No more stuff. Don't get any more stuff. Don't get bigger. Please don't get bigger. Wow, it, it has some really gnarly. Oh, why did they get that? Oh, did it just play that? No, okay. Okay. Oh, I think I have lethal next turn, as long as it doesn't gain life. Uh, 
Okay, hold on. Eight. Sixteen. Nineteen. Boom! Boulder toss for nineteen. Hmm. All right. So that's how I'm gonna end it on on a very very high note. Boss win, bonus win, gold pouch. Laugh it up. I'm going to win. Accepted my challenge and prevailed. I suppose you want a lollipop and sorry, I'm fresh out instead. I have a reward. Removed a strike from your arena. All right. It's cool. So. Oh wait, I have no strikes now. Perfect. All right. Well, I will continue this later. Hope you guys enjoy it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.